place on the board. Excuse me. Hello. Welcome in, everyone. Just want to double check that everyone can hear my voice and you can hear some music. I'm just going to wait till some more people jump in and then we'll get started. Hey, Shanna. Welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Mr. India, MJ Draws, Sebastian. All good, sweet. That's what I like to hear. All right, here I am. <laughs> I'm here, are you? We are gonna do some stuff. Ah, oh, Mr. India, you brought my sketchbook bundle on Gumroad. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. You have caught a live. It's pretty random, <laughs> as all my live streams are lately. Um, yeah, I figured we would just do another Let's Draw Fantasy drawing, because uh, I have another one lined up, ready to go. Uh, I did another live stream uh, a couple of days ago. I can't even remember what day it was, to be honest. A few days ago, we did this little dude. He was pretty fun. <laughs> um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with his colors. Like, they're just, it's just really cute. <clears throat> Excuse me for my coughing. Um, smoker's cough. Let's put it that way. Alright. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving in Australia, but I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody else. Is that actually this weekend? I'm, I'm so clueless. I don't know when that is. <laughs> yes, I know, Shanna, I will. Uh, it's a thing. It's gonna happen gathering up the courage to do so. All right. So, yes, we did that guy last time. Um, just to bring you up to speed, <clears throat> I have a, well, I had a prompt list for a whole bunch of fantasy characters that I was doing and I was plonking them all into this one drawing and I'm gonna try and finish it very, very slowly. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool when it's done, so yeah, it's a bit messy at the moment, but I don't actually know where this mushroom guy's going to go, so I might just start off by plonking him in just for a bit of fun. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate that, flatten it, and copy. 
then we'll go back in here and we will place him here. It's getting really, really busy. Oh no, I've reached maximum layers. That does happen sometimes. Uh, it's because this canvas is really, really big. Wow. It's big for an iPad anyway. 8,000, 8.5,000 by 4.7,000 pixels. Um, I can just delete some of these layers that I don't need. Yep, don't need that. Paste our little mushroom guy in. He's going to be huge. Oh my gosh, where am I going to put him? I don't know. <laughs> it's getting out of hand now. <laughs> it's it's such a mess. I do regret um, not planning this out more. Uh, it's going to require a lot of reworking to make everything actually look right in the final piece, but I think he should be on the other side, actually. He might have to go further across. I don't know. I think he looks pretty cute, though. Pretty happy with him. So welcome in everyone else who's popped in just recently. Um, hello from Germany. Evelyn, hello. Flip him and put him where he is. Ooh, that's a scary thing to do, flipping, but... Because <laughs> then it always looks stupid. Uh, he, he doesn't look too bad, but I like him better the other way. Hmm. Uh, okay, he definitely looks better over here, I think. Yeah, this is getting really busy. I think with the next ones that I actually draw, I might start drawing in this canvas maybe with all the rest so I can plan it out a bit more better. Um, but yeah, so the next one is a magic mystical sword. Not the most interesting thing to be doing on stream, but it's better than nothing, right guys? <laughs> we can see if we can make this look kind of cool. Um, so this is obviously drawn already uh, and inked and did this months and months ago, but it's just been sitting here waiting for me to get to it. <laughs> Welcome in, Alex. Uh, Alex asks, when am I going to do another sketchbook tour? It's a good question. Um, I think I have some footage that I've already filmed from some really old sketchbooks. So I'm not like super excited about it because some of the work is eh, not that great. Um, but I should get onto that soon. Um, as for like new content, I need to finish my sketchbook. So I am working on that. I'm about halfway, maybe a little over halfway through of a little sketchbook that I was working in. So as soon as I get that done, I'm gonna totally like film a new video because I really enjoyed doing those videos. They were good fun. All right. I have to wrap my head around this file because I've not played in it for a long time. So what do we got here? We have clouds, we have stars. We can probably merge those layers. We have a solid shape. And we have some inks. So, do, 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 do. what am I gonna do here? First of all, I'm going to make the line art kind of black to start with. Um, much like the mushroom guy, I don't really have a plan and it's a little bit disorientating because I haven't, it's not fresh. This artwork has just been sitting here for so long, so can't really remember what my thought process was. But that's okay, we'll work it out. 
going to make a clipping mask and we'll just start laying some colours in. We can always change them, so let's just get started. Now, if we finish this one fairly quickly, I might be able to maybe look at the list and draw something new. Yeah, I can't decide. <laughs> I already can't decide what I'm doing. It shouldn't take us too long to get this done. To be honest, it's quite simple. I think I like it being blue. I don't know. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's go with that. <clears throat> I'm just going to have to do some tidying up here because my, my process has actually changed a little bit since I last did this. So bear with me just for a moment while I fix this up. Turn these clipping masks off. Oop. What's going on here? So yeah, I'm just um, making a copy of the line art and filling it the same color as the general fill. And then I'm going to merge that down so that the line art can be clipped to it as well. Which should work now if we go and clip all these layers again. Okay, there we go. Which means I can do some layers on top and adjust everything, including the lines at the same time. Yeah, Luke, that's true. Um, but I think I'm not going to worry about it fitting into the main piece at the moment. And I know that's kind of a bit silly, but I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> so I'm just going to render it however I think looks good for this single piece. And then when I put it in, I'm going to, I'm going to play with everything as a whole and probably paint over the top of everything to make it work. Um, so I'm not going to worry about the campfire at the moment. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good Friday. No, it's Thursday. Oh my goodness. It's Thursday for me. It's probably still Wednesday for you guys in America, maybe. <clears throat> Welcome back, Sahil. Yeah, the smoke is going to be cool. If I can get these colors right, it's looking a bit mishmash at the moment. But um, once I start rendering those clouds, it should look cool. Uh, how long do you take to do a full body art? Um, uh, digital, there's a fly in here, sorry. Um, <laughs> anywhere between five and seven hours for a full character.
And this is tricky because I don't know what I'm doing. Very much reminiscent of my Mushroom Kid. But the Mushroom Kid came out right in the end, so... This might take me a little bit of time to figure this out. figure it out as we go on. <laughs> Where's my coffee? MJ Draws says, I'm a 13 year old and I'm drawing eight hours a day and want to be a pro artist. Is eight hours enough? <laughs> Dude, yes, eight, eight hours is totally enough, mate. Like, even if you did like two hours a day, that's fine. You know, you're gonna learn a lot. Um, but if you can do eight hours and you're not like pushing yourself too hard, then that's fine. Go for it. And you're gonna be amazing. But yeah, I guess it probably does depend what you're doing in the, those eight hours. Um, okay. I'm gonna change some line colors. Oops. It's been a long day today, guys, actually. I've done a lot of work. So it's kind of crazy that I'm doing this live stream, but... Got a taste of it a few days ago and wanted to do more, so... I wonder if I should do all of the line work. Yeah, I think that would look good. This song needs to change. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't know if you're enjoying it or not, but we're moving on. Oh, and my bad, I forgot to change the camera, so let's switch to this one. Actually, um, I don't know what is next on the prompt list. Does anybody, if anybody has it handy, or you want to jump on my Instagram page and see what was next after the magical mystical sword I would be very curious I could do it myself but I want to see who can do it <laughs> um, Evelyn says do you have any tips on how to improve my lines because I love the way you draw them like very alive looking and diverse well thank you very much first and foremost um, Hmm. I, it's hard to say without seeing your lines and knowing what you want and what you want to change about your lines specifically. So, uh, yeah, that's a hard one to actually talk about. Um, just practice and be confident, I suppose. Most of my lines are, like, are very confident lines and pretty strategically placed but it all, all comes down to style as well <clears throat> drawing mania asks what do you do when you have an idea but you don't know how to go about it pretty much just starting just start drawing like that <laughs> it seems like a very simple answer but 
yeah, that happens to me all the time. Like, I have a, a brief that I have to follow, and, you know, I don't know, particularly know how I'm going to do it, or whatever, and so you just start drawing. The first couple of sketches might be pretty average, uh, but slowly and surely you kind of figure out, like, what you actually want to do. You know, it might be on the second sketch that you nail it. It might even be the first. Or it could be the fifth. <laughs> just depends how you go on that day. Uh, but the main thing is to just start drawing. Like, don't worry if you don't know what you're doing. I mean, I'm sure you've probably got a general idea of what you want. Uh, and that's good enough. Just a general idea. Like, don't put too much pressure on yourself to get uh, what you see in your head completely the same as what comes out on paper. It really very rarely does. I think most artists would agree with that, like, it doesn't really always happen that way. Sometimes it's just an evolutionary process. Um, a lot of the times I just make, make it up as I go along. Uh, whatever feels right, whatever looks right, whatever is, comes out and pushes me in a certain direction. So I don't always know what I'm doing. <laughs> in fact, I very rarely do. because I did not um, do this very well originally. Not sure if you can even see what I'm doing here, but there's some there's some gaps and stuff in the base colouring that is really bugging me, so I'm just gonna quickly fill that in. Steve asks, your brushes are great, what size do you draw at with them? Uh, kind of varies on what I'm doing, but usually, usually at least 2000 pixels either way and 300 dpi. So fairly big, but it's not really that big, I suppose. Actually, we could probably click actual size. That's actual size. It's it's printable, I would say, you know. It only starts getting pixely when you kind of get to about that point. I'm so used to pixels now, I don't, they don't really bother me. Oops. Okay, <laughs> I think I've stuffed around for a bit too long. Should we change this background color? That might help. Or not. Just a bit too distracting. Alright, 
right, let's move this along. This shouldn't take this too long. <laughs> I'm just gonna do multiply layer as usual. Kyobi asks, do I ever work in Illustrator? Not anymore, no. I've, I've worked in Illustrator in the past, like certain client jobs a fairly long time ago required some, some vector illustrations. Uh, so occasionally I would have had to jump in there. It's kind of fun in its own way, but it's, yeah. It's a little bit too technical. I don't really enjoy it as much as as much as this. It just doesn't feel like drawing to me. So yeah. Steve says, I see some new ones in that that weren't in the set like liquid ink. Liquid pencil is great. Are you going to do another set anytime soon? Yes. Good, um, good, got a good eye, friend. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some more soon. Just, I'm sort of, I'm a bit slow at dabbling and making them at the moment, but hopefully, hopefully soon I can try. It might not be until the new year that I get bit more time to actually work on them um, so I only have like a very small handful not even a handful probably only got three or four new ones that I'm using at the moment um, but yeah the liquid ink is based on the liquid sketch which yeah I've been using for all my client work at the moment it's been really a good brush to use Sorry if I, I can't, probably can't get to everybody's questions here. Uh, Rhyme asks, Abel, do you have any videos where you show a form of simple shapes that make up the human figure or face? A lot of YouTube artists talk a lot about it, but everyone seems to have their own version. Um, no, I don't have any videos available at the moment. Uh, I am thinking of doing some new kind of videos like that for my Patreons, patrons, patrons on Patreon. So if that interests you, please let me know. Um, I don't think it'll be a too expensive option, but you know, times are tough. So I totally understand if people can't afford that as well. Yeah, we're all going to do what we can do at the moment. <laughs> um, I'll put, maybe I'll put a few of them out on YouTube for free. Just maybe get the interest out and let people know that they will be available on Patreon as well. 
could be a good idea. That would be good. That would be a good advertisement, I think. Alright, how am I feeling about this? Average, at best. I think I've done that wrong, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we're gonna swap. Oops. What did I just do that for? <laughs> Picked the wrong colour. There we go. Nope. Still the wrong colour. Is that it? I don't think even that's the wrong colour. I'm just going to swap sides, have the light bouncing on the other side of the sword instead of that side. Should have done that in the first place, but anyway. Let's see if this looks a little bit better. Yeah, that's more consistent. Lucas says, Fantasy Drawing on 3D Total Shop, really good book. Thank you so much, I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy it. <clears throat> um, okay. Do, 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 do. Crispy Potato Boy, do you think that digital art and traditional art are both equal? Um, <laughs> in what context? There's got to be context to that question, because they're not equal. Absolutely not. You know, they're totally different mediums. Um, you might find one harder than the other, for example. So they're not equal in that respect. Uh, if you mean legitimate, you know, does is it legitimate art because it's digital? If that's the question, then yeah, it is. It's the same thing. It's just on a different medium. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously there's like, there's uh, pros and cons to both, for sure. Welcome in Jungle City. Good to see we have the same name, apparently. <laughs> I don't know if I'm spoiling you, this is not like the most interesting thing to be drawing, like I said. But, you know, it's something. We might get into something more interesting soon. Did anybody come back with the, the next... The next... Um, my brain doesn't want to work tonight. The next prompt list. I'm going to have to look at it myself, I think. I probably might have missed someone say what it was. I have to do a little bit of scrolling on my feed because it was quite a while ago. Oh, I haven't posted my mushroom kid either. Oops. 
Okay, the last one I posted was in July. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. Okay, so I've got the I've got the prompt list here on my Instagram. And ooh, the next one is a fairy relaxing in a mug of ale. I think we could do that one. <laughs> that seems pretty uh, pretty easy, ish. Oh, and then the next one after that is an angry giant, which is what I've wanted to do for the whole thing. Uh, no worries, crispy potato. Just needed some context with the question, that's all. Um, yeah, some people... I've had a few trolls. Not many. On my Instagram page, and some people have... Tried to put the opinion out there that... Um, digital art is easy, and... Whatever. <laughs> it is not. It is not easy, just because... I'm not having a go at you. I'm just, just ranting now. Uh, it is not easy, just because it's digital and because there's a few shortcuts here and there you still gotta know how to draw that that doesn't change computer doesn't draw for you but you guys know this you're not stupid you guys know this you don't need me to tell you that <laughs> anyway what time is it for everyone what day and what time Steve Lewis, I liked your Buffy. It really looked like her. Any tips for capturing likeness? Mm, I'm probably not the best person to give tips on that because I find it fairly difficult as well. Um, I think it's just about kind of like studying the person's face and, and body and finding, figuring out what makes them them. What are the key features of that person that make you think of them. So, for instance, with Sarah Michelle Gellar, it's definitely her nose. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, she's got a beautiful nose. Don't get me wrong. Um, but she's got a unique nose. So that's definitely one of the things. You, you put that in there, and you combine that with blonde hair. A pretty face. I mean, yeah, that's kind of all I did with Buffy, really. I mean, kind of tried to hurry in on her eyes a little bit as well, I think. Maybe. Yeah, that's that's my philosophy with it. I'm not really that that good, I don't think, doing that. Yeah, Monk is right. And there is there's shortcuts with traditional art too, you know, there's light boxes for instance. You know? <laughs> so that helps. Thanks, Jamal. 11.20 in the morning. Where are you, Shanna? Are you in... You're in the States, I think, aren't you? Maybe not. 3 a.m. in the morning in California. Yeah, this is not a good time for you Americans. I am very sorry. <laughs> you all must be very sleepy. Go and get some coffee. 3 a.m. coffee. Um, how do I do my anatomy? I don't know. I've, I've done it a lot for a long time. Um, I studied life drawing. That is the one thing that actually kicked me up a level because before that my anatomy really sucked in my teens. So yeah, my early, actually it was, I was like 18 when I did life drawing. I didn't do it much after that. Really would like to do it again. Uh, but yeah, life drawing, 100%. Go find, if you can, if you can go there. Actually, there might be like online life drawing these days. I think that's a thing. Uh, even if you just do it yourself, like sit down at your computer or your iPad or whatever, go on Google and I don't know, find some pictures somewhere of like models or something and just pick a drawing and then give yourself a time limit and just draw the basic structure of the, the person and yeah, 
It's important to give yourself a time limit though, because in live touring, you know, you get like two minute sketches, you get, then you get five, 10, um, 20. We didn't go over 30 minutes for any of these, mainly because the, uh, the poor model has to stand in the same spot for a long time. I don't know how they do it. It'd be really hard. Oh, there you go. Steve Lewis says there are channels on YouTube where there are timed poses for gesture drawing. That's really cool, actually. That could make a good stream. Mm, that gives me an idea. I should practice it first myself so I know I can actually draw half decently. <laughs> but I, that, that could be a good fun stream to do. All right, I've rambled. Um, we're at all different times here. People are from all over the place. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's get this moving because um, there's not much to this one. So yeah, I'm just doing an overlay layer on top of everything. And I'm gonna pop in these little blue, blue lights, blue highlights. Coming from, <clears throat> coming from the magical cloud that's happening around it. I don't know what I'm doing guys, I'm just making shit up. <laughs> Can you tell? You might be able to tell. I don't recall having songs in here with lyrics, so we're just going to skip that. <laughs> uh, for streaming the iPad, I use QuickTime. You just got to plug your iPad into your computer, load up QuickTime, select new movie, and it'll just bring up a screen of your iPad. It's pretty cool.
lot of what I do, especially when colouring, is just experimenting. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Well, I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, but I don't know if it's going to work. That's what kind of what I meant. any questions yeah pan this is a different taste in music I just got sick of getting you know like demonetized or you know problems uh, and just wanted some like chill tunes not really too medieval <laughs> I've played so much medieval music but I don't really have a lot actually that's royalty free so I kind of don't really like them that much Um, Dempsey asks, do you use the reference feature when you zoom in to do details to see the whole artwork at the same time? Uh, I do, but not very often, to be honest. I'm kind of so stuck into, I'm so used to not using that, that I don't really use it that often. <laughs> but I could, and I probably should. Where is it? Here we go. Yeah, I mean, the iPad still seems a little bit... There's not a whole bunch of room anyway, so it kind of annoys me. It just doesn't seem natural yet, but that's might be because I haven't used it as much as I should have, so... Sarah! <laughs> My friend Sarah, welcome in. Yeah, I can't... Um, the pen, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> I hope that doesn't really bug people. Uh, I, Mac Daddy, I make a lot of happy li little mistakes, for sure. Clement, um, no, I go straight to colour, which, yeah, the levels is something that I definitely struggle with, and I could probably try and work on that as well. Whoa. That is not what I meant to do. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Just remove all the color. I kind of like that. Ooh, that gets me thinking. It doesn't nearly need to be color, does it? I mean, why am I going to all the effort? I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm glad they added it too. It's a really cool feature, for sure. Um, I do zoom in a lot. It's I'm trying to not zoom in so much when I'm actually drawing and sketching. <clears throat> because that's where the real problems lie for me, I think. Because you really want to see the whole character you're drawing. Not just like zoom into the face and start drawing eyes really, really big. Like You need to see the context of everything together. Yeah, it's not too bad, I think. Um, I think this could be a bit darker. The handle. Maybe the shadows could be a bit more intense. Kind of like I kind of like it. What if we move this down here? Oh I think I probably should keep it fairly simple, to be honest, because as you've seen, the um, this thing's getting ridiculous. Seriously, so silly. So I think I will just keep this really simple, to be honest, um, or at least. I won't get rid of the colours, I'll leave them there, but I'm going to leave this layer on top. Um, 
and then maybe add another glow another overlay maybe then we'll do the clouds and we'll almost call it done we'll move on where's the airbrush would add be better add mode where is it mm. I think we're just going to stick with overlay Let's do these clouds. Where are they? All the way down here. Might do another clipping mask. And I'm going to try and use my tilt sketch pencil for this. It might not work, but we'll find out. This is a new pencil brush I've made, which I'm now <laughs> using not really as a pencil, but it's got a really nice um, tilt, tilt effect to it. Still a work in progress though, I think it needs a bit more fine tuning. It's too, it's too fat when you're like, well, what the hell. Let's fix it. is it goes too big when you tilt. Maybe that'll be better. It is better, but it's too much. Let's see. Yeah, that's a bit nicer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this brush. It's just fun. I use it on the smudge tool as well. It's really good for smudging with. Bedbugs music. When drawing character, which point of view perspective is difficult and which is easy for you? <clears throat> Um, usually the things that are difficult for me are the things that I have done the least. So I would say drawing characters from behind probably would be the most difficult for me because that's the thing I've done the least of. Um, which is something, you know, when you're drawing comics, comic books and stuff like that, it'll come up a lot. <laughs> So when I get back into drawing comics, um, that's going to be a problem, <laughs> which I'm just going to have to work through. I don't know where my light source is coming from here, actually. Start again.
Uh, Mac Daddy, I will be drawing comics for myself when I, whenever I finally get around to doing it. Um, I'm not totally opposed to drawing comics for companies, but it's got to be something that really excites me. Because they don't pay very much, and <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's too much work. Well, that was really fun to do. <laughs> I'm not finished yet though. For some reason, I thought I was finished. Webcomics are awesome, Steve. Don't call them dumb. Not at all. I had a webcomic once. I'm not gonna tell you what it is though. <laughs> I, I can't remember what my... Yeah, let's just say it was not very politically correct webcomic. I was in my early 20s and I was just making controversial things, just to be silly. I can't remember what was in it. It was about um, this guy and his drunk monkey. <laughs> it's really, really dumb. It wasn't even that funny. Nobody else laughed. It was just me making myself laugh, so. Yeah, web comics are awesome. Not that I read any, but probably should. Um, Webtoons, I hear, is a really good place. Katie Cook is doing a um, webcomic on there called Nothing Special, I believe. No, that's not what it's called, is it? I'm going to feel really stupid if I got that name wrong. But she's doing really well on there, so that makes things interesting. And it's like, There's a different avenue to do your own comics these days, and they don't always have to be funny. Um, they can be whatever you want, right? Sorry, I'm zooming in space panning all over the place here. Hopefully that's not making you dizzy. <laughs> Gotta get the the right angle <laughs> to um to get the tilt the tilt shade in properly. pretty happy with that. I think I'm just going to do some highlights on it and then maybe call this one finished except for the sparkles. Need to do something with them. Um, we will try overlay and see what we can do. Or maybe add mode. It's pretty much the, <laughs> some of the only two things that I use. 
Although sometimes I just go through and see which blend mode looks the best. Like Vivid Light actually looks really cool. So I might do that one. And I'm just going to like pop out a couple of bits. Sometimes my Apple Pencil does not want to behave. It gets, it gets stuck in tilt mode. I don't know if anybody else has this problem. <laughs> Sarah, more peaches. Are you trying to tell me to draw more butts? Or do you want to actually want peaches? Because I could do either. Oh, my friend Lav is in here. Hey Lav, nerd on the rocks. Yes, nothing special, that's it. I'm glad I did not get that name wrong. Katie's awesome. I met her in at a Supernova Expo when Supernova brought her over as a guest. I can't remember what year it was. Maybe 2016 or something? Um, yeah, her and her husband are just like really cool people. I had a lot of fun hanging out with them and I was super, super lucky enough to get an original Katie Cook mini little painting of me, <laughs> which is so cool. Like, it's, it's kind of adorable. Everything Katie does is pretty adorable, to be honest. Yeah. Well, that doesn't look very good. What am I doing? Alright, let's not get too carried away here. I think we're almost finished. And then we might try and maybe have a quick break. And perhaps attempt some drawing. Actual drawing, my goodness. It could be an epic failure because I'm pretty tired and it's like quarter to 11 at night and I've been working all day so we'll see what we can do. <laughs> it could be a disaster. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked with this. Um, might just change those stars. Where are they? I've lost them. I've lost them. Where did I put them? They're in that layer. Let's cut them out, because it's a stupid place for them. Cut and paste. Where did they go? <laughs> it's become a clipping mask and disappeared. Let's pop it up there. Yeah, they're just totally the wrong colour. Cool. Alright, I'm not too I'm not too upset with this. I think it served its purpose. Now, Pan says, I see you have a clipping mask on every layer. How does that work? If it's any of any help, I'll try adding it to my procreator. Right. I don't know if it's gonna help you or I don't know if it's gonna help anyone. Um, it's just the way I've kinda learnt to do it. It helps me anyway. <laughs> um there's a, there is a reason why I use clipping masks. And it's because I like to do overlay blend layers on top of everything. And I want to just, for instance, like the glows. I only want the glows to affect the actual figure of whatever I'm drawing. I don't actually want the glows to go in the background, for example. Um, so that's why I make sure everything is a clipping mask and that's why I have this very important layer 15 right here which is the silhouette of the sword um, so everything is clipped to that one thing and if I actually can we do that yeah there we go it looks a bit weird 
Why does it look weird? Because I painted on it for some reason. Um, but yeah, so everything, apart from the clouds, forget those, everything about the sword and the thorns there is all contained within this one shape, and it's all clipped to this. And it just allows me to, for instance, um, I change the line art color, and then I also use blend modes like multiply for the shadows and overlays and stuff for the highlights. And if I have those layers on top of the line work, it'll change the line work color too. And that's that's good, that's what I want. Um, that might be a bit overwhelming what I just said there. I don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but now I have to fix it, everything. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, what was I going to do? I was going to play around with this. Because I like to play around after I finish something. Uh, group it. Duplicate. Flat. Okay, so now we just have a flat image. Make another copy just in case. Oops. And gradient map which is a I just freaking love using gradient map these days why is it not working though I don't know that's weird <laughs> why is the gradient map not working am I being really silly there we go that was weird um yeah I mean look at that it's just such a cool feature I freaking love it I love how you can change it and see things in real time. I think that looks pretty cool. And so we could do that one, or just like change them around. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. There's something about that that just looks really cool. <laughs> I like seeing seeing it in a different perspective as well. That's why I like doing this sort of stuff. Vanellope, Vanellope says, internet in Australia is impressive. Is it? Am I coming through like high quality and all that? I hope so, because I pay enough money for my internet. <laughs> um, actually, I think the rest of the world has much better internet than us, to be honest. Um, ooh, that's cool. Yeah, this is, I'm just having fun here. Um, I did like Breeze, though. Maybe I can add that into the mix. I'm not sure. I definitely, now that I've seen this, I definitely feel like these colors, like I could probably play around with the curves a little bit. Although I'm, I'm really bad at fiddling with curves. I can never get what I want. Is that what I want? I don't know. Yes, yeah, that's a bit better. It was a bit dull. I, I tend to do that all the time whenever I'm painting with colour. My brain just paints really dull and I have to boost it up all the time. Uh, I like that. could also change the hue. I'm okay with this. I might just add one layer on top. Another glowy layer, why not? As you can never have too much glows. That's a lie. You can always have too much glows. <laughs> it's very easy to overdo it. See, this is not working. The overlay is not working because overlay doesn't tend to go on top of anything black. So that's why you'll probably want to use something else like hard light sort of works, although it's a mess. You can kind of just pop it in here and give it a bit more atmosphere. That looks kind of cool. Problem is I don't have a proper background for this, so... Um, it looks a bit weird. Once you go... It looks fine like that, but once you go black, it's like, whoa, 
Okay, it doesn't look quite good. Anyway. There we go. There's a magical, mystical sword. And here's the process. Somebody asked, what is my process on drawing swords? Um, so I guess I'll just let this play and you can watch. And I will answer some questions. Uh, Clement, yeah, I did remove the sword's color. I just thought I would keep it simple. I don't think it really needed to have too many colors going on. Uh, Dempsey Illustrations, did you click pencil instead of layer? I have to use gradient map more. I forget they added that feature. Yeah, I generally use layer. Um, and sometimes I don't need to. Sometimes I should be using pencil because like I'll do the layer and then I'll erase back or mask it or something. And I keep forgetting that the pencil option is an option, but. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a very different sort here, actually. It changed a bit of... Changed a lot, actually, through the ways. Uh, I decided, well, my theory was that I would do an angel wing and a demon wing. I don't know if that really translated very well in the end. No, it didn't, because the colours don't reflect that, do they? It's very subtle. So you've got one angel wing, one demon wing. I don't know if anybody noticed that. <laughs> uh, I could probably make that a bit more obvious, couldn't I? I think I might do that because... Um, I'm going to have to redo all my edits now if I do that. I'll just do something really quick to see if I like it. Oops. So yeah, I'm just going to edit this really quickly um, to see if this works or not and kind of gets my concept <laughs> across a little more. I don't know, what do you think guys? Should we add that or not add that? Curious on your thoughts, friends. Oh my goodness, there's so many comments that I've missed. Uh, Jordan, thanks for watching. Good night. Simple Simon. Hey man, how you doing, bro? <laughs> Good to see you here, man. Yeah, apparently our internet's pretty bad. <laughs> Compared to, uh, you know, other countries. I'm, I'm not... I'm not too, like, upset with our current internet speed. Like, now that we have an NBN... Uh, it's, it's okay. I can stream now, so I'm happy. Before we had NBN, you just couldn't stream. I couldn't do it, like, it was too... too slow. Uh, Pan says, as you messed around with Gradient Map, there was a part where just the clouds looked good. Is there a way you can separate the clouds from the sword and just change the colour in Gradient Map? Yes, there is definitely a way you can do that. Um, I will show you how to do it. <laughs> Perhaps. 
So what you would do is you'd go to gradient map and you click pencil. Um, although I I have separated the um, the clouds in the original. I copied the file over. It's kind of complicated, but my original here is in all in this group. And so if I just wanted to change the clouds, I could go in here and change the clouds if I wanted to. But if you have everything on the same layer, um, I think Steve was the one who mentioned it, is there is a way you can do the gradient map with the pencil instead of the layer. So with the pencil, we click that. I'm just gonna choose something really different. Okay, so you won't see it at the moment. Let's just get an airbrush and we'll brush it in. So that way you can just do a couple of little bits. This is not supposed to look good, by the way. <laughs> uh, and then you can change, you can still see a change in real time just in where you've painted. You can erase as well. You know, so you're painting like while you're in a filter, which is really cool. I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, anyway, that is that. Uh, Selendil says, hi, maybe you could put another source of red light from the side of the demon wing. Hmm. Yeah, that's possible. I'm going to keep it simple for now because this is going to go into something else. Which I'm just going to copy this and plonk it in. Oh, I am getting tired, guys. I don't know if I can do more. We'll try. How big is this sword? <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever done. It's so busy. Oh my god. This is too much. I might not be able to put everything in. I don't know where this is going to go. This is too much. <laughs> it can't go anywhere. Stupid. What am I doing? It's just going to have to just get bigger and bigger. <laughs> Anyway, it's fun. It's fun. It might not work, but... See you later, Simon. Thanks for popping in, dude. Why is it that big? It's funny because there's a sword there as well. Anyway... This is the problem for another time. Um, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is leave this for now. And go take a little break. And see how I'm feeling. See if I can freshen myself up and wake myself up a bit. Because it's getting late. And man, it's been a long day. <laughs> um, but if I do come back, we have a fairy and a mug of ale to draw. So I might come back and do that, but I can't guarantee it. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is a very, very quick stream. How long have we streamed for? An huh. hour and 20 minutes. That's not too bad. It's about the same as the Mushroom Kid from last time. So it's probably bedtime for a lot of people, actually. So go to bed. <laughs> or stick around. I don't know. Up to you. You do what you want. I'm not your boss. Uh, love you guys. You're amazing. It's so it feels really, really good to be back and streaming and chatting, hanging with you guys, making arts, and yeah. So I will see you next time. Feeling pretty sleepy to be honest. So I think I might just go to sleep. Maybe we can do another stream tomorrow, and we'll do we'll do the fairy in the mug of ale. What do you reckon? think about it. I'll schedule it properly. I'll give you guys a bit more notice and we'll do it. All right. That's it for me. Thanks for hanging. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Uh, I also have a Patreon. 
uh, which really, really helps pay my bills and stuff. And appreciate all my patrons on there. And I give them uh, an exclusive sketchbook every month and videos. They always get early access to my videos and stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna head off. Thanks guys. You're the best. Good night.